Uh, I always work with two different uh, uh, compost piles. Uh, one of the in which I try to switch them back and forth throughout their growing season in order to make sure that I aerate the compost and, and make sure that every every piece of the compost has a chance of uh, of actually uh, cooking and uh, and also being uh, uh, exposed to air. Um, at this time of year, it's very important to if you want to use the compost, you need to to start uh, getting whatever is uh, nicely cooked. Uh, but as you can see, there is a lot of uh, pieces of uh, wood and uh, roots and things like that from last year that have not totally uh, decomposed. So what I used is I used a small screen box that I built out of a 10 gallon container, plastic container, the ones that you find at your convenience store. I cut out the bottom and I put a half an inch uh, steel um, steel mesh, steel screen, and I attach it with um, tie wraps. So uh, this I put in a, in my wheelbarrow, and now I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna fill it up with the compost that I'm getting with all the wood chips and and everything. Sometimes even pieces of uh, uh, pieces of rocks and. Uh, and roots and whatnot and what I like doing is just filling it up only halfway I don't want to make it too heavy because usually the problem with all these things is that we tend to make them too big and they become too heavy to handle so this is as much as I as I put in and what I do is I can now using the handles I can shake it and as you can see we're getting more and more of the sticks only here sticks and leaves and things that are not decomposed and in the end that's all I end up with and that I put back in my compost pile that I'm not done with this is the compost that I'm going to be using nice and fluffy all nice and clean and it smells like dirt should smell delicious that's all